Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winatwordpress.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a horizontal MailChimp form on your WordPress website. Um, it's easy enough once you know how, but I'm just going to show you exactly how to do it. And basically if you only have a small bit of space in your website to put your form, let's say underneath your header image or whatever, um, this is what you can do with it. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said today, I'm going to be showing you how to put a horizontal MailChimp form onto your WordPress website, just like the one I have here. Um, now, I won't actually be styling it in this um, video. I'm just going to be showing you how to make it horizontal like this and how to put the button in line. Um, as you can see on the original um, MailChimp website, when you first get the code for your, um, for your uh, sign up form, uh, it's not horizontal it's like this um so let's just get this code the basic code and then we'll make the we'll make the changes uh once we put it onto our wordpress website so we're going to copy and paste this in um i'm just going to make a new little bit underneath this and uh, i'm using the wp bakery um plugin which is why it looks like this but it should be the same uh, if you're using the normal wordpress editor uh just to make sure you're in the text so like the code uh part of the text editor rather than the other part so i'm going to click on raw html and I'm just going to paste my code right in here. And then the first thing um, that I want to do is I want to go up to um, div ID. And I'm going to change this to homepage sign up. Um, now you can call it whatever you want, but the reason why you would change this is that if I have other sign up forms in different places on my website, um, I can style them differently. Whereas I want to style this one just for the homepage. Um, so I'm going to change that first of all. And then um, to make it horizontal, I'm just going to add in a simple bit of code into my CSS. So here I have my CSS and the code I'm going to get put in, I'm going to put this in the uh, link, or I'm going to put this in the description for you. The code I'm put, going to put in is um, hashtag homepage sign up dot MC field group. So this is the kind of overall sign up and this is um, each of the fields. Um, display inline block. And then the width is up to you, but I just have to wait myself. Um, but that's the main thing you want to put in is this bit here and then display inline block, which should make this horizontal. So let's just preview and make, see that it worked. So as you can see, um, that is now horizontal. Absolutely perfect. Um, we can just put in our margins and style it the way we want to now. Um, if your button doesn't actually go onto the same line, you may have to just go into your tech, you go into your um, code. Now, I'm actually surprised that it went onto the same line there, but it might not because it didn't for me the first time. So what you want to do is you want to go down to see this comment here. Um, Real people should not fill this in and expect good things. Just take this out. And now, don't worry, I was actually worried when I took this out um, because it says not to take it out. Uh, but you're not actually removing the piece of code that they're telling you not to take out. You're just taking out the comment. So if you just take that out and save changes. And then if you go to CSS again, and if you put in... Uh, hashtag MailChimp, MailChimp sign up dot clear and then display inline block. So the same thing as before, but instead of dot, um, what did we use before? We had uh, dot MC field group. You just want to put in dot clear and the same thing inline block and that will make your button go on the same page. So if we save changes, you can see our button, sign out on the same page on the same line. Our button is now on the same line. So if you uh, Click the link at the end of my video, you can see how we're going to style this to make it look kind of like this and then just make it look more uh, visually attractive. But as you can see, you now have your uh, horizontal mention form. So I hope this helped, guys. So there you go. Um, I hope this worked for you. If it didn't, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. That would really mean a lot. And if you check out um, my WordPress course, it, the link is in the description. It'll really help you with every, all your WordPress problems. And um, as I said, the link is in the description. Uh, if you'd like to see me do any other videos, just let me know in the comments and I will try my best to help you out. Um, I really am always looking for new ideas for content. So if you have any if you, issues at all with WordPress that you need fixed, just let me know and I'll help you out. Um, so thanks very much guys, I'll see you in the next video.